Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here with my review of Degrassi Next Class Season 2. As I was watching Season 2 of Degrassi Next Class, I didn't really see anything super review worthy, but there are definitely some things to discuss in this season. Also, the last video got some comments and pretty nice views. I was surprised because I thought a video on that show or this show wouldn't have done so well for my channel, so thank you so much for that. And luckily, I watched this pretty soon after it came out, so hopefully some fans who have just watched Season 2 as well can check out my review. This will contain spoilers like before. I'm not going to be doing like a spoiler review and a re review without spoilers. This will be talking about everything. So I guess that is a spoiler review. And I'll be going character by character instead of episode by episode because this is much easier to manage because this is a lot of stuff to talk about. And I want to say this first to start things off. I didn't really think this was good as season one. Season one was definitely better. I think as you're watching season one, there's sort of a mystery there with the cyberbullying and the, the central plot to this season was just, it just wasn't really my favorite thing. So I feel like Hunter should be talked about first. So he's tricked into going into a mental hospital because Miles lets him drive the car and then Hunter crashes the car on purpose so he has mental issues. He was just like, you shouldn't have left me alone or something like that. So Hunter spends most of this season in the, in the mental hospital and I like that. I thought they were going to do something where he's already out and they just continue with school. He tries to escape the mental hospital and we learn more about his issues. And I really do think he and the others should be in jail for how crazy... Their cyberbullying guy, I mean, they, they swatted someone, they posted her information, they doxed her. That's a lot of bad stuff. So, eventually, he is released and he's back at home, but he can't leave by himself. So, he invites Yale over, but his friends interrupt that, and he finds out that she's going on a date with Bass, so he's kind of upset with that. And I can't find good descriptions of most of the episodes online, but I believe Miles took him to the party and him and Yale talk about their feelings. I don't really like how she was just added on since Hunter's other potential girlfriend had to leave the show. That actor is now on a show called Backstage, which is also a Canadian show, but it's like Degrassi, but toned down. I've watched Backstage. Don't really review it because it's not as intense as Degrassi, but I do talk about it on Twitter, so you can check that out if you want. Overall, as a character, I don't really like Hunter. He has anger issues, and even if he has problems, he's done some pretty messed up stuff. And I would have told about the gun thing immediately, like him bringing a gun to school, <laughs> to the dance. Like, that's it's bad. That's not a good secret. That's not a secret you keep away from your family. That's something you tell them immediately. You are scared of your brother. That's what I would do. Moving on to Frankie who might have had the central focus this season. She might have been the central focus this season. It's obvious that she got the central plot. I think the show does different things with this. I think, like, the central focus of the show, those people are Maya and Miles, but I believe Frankie got the central focus of this season for some reason. I don't know if they're switching it up. And she also got, like, the central plot, pretty much. Um, so her plot was about racism. I think I brought this up before. The show is so current and it's almost too current because the Instagram stuff and the whole she liked all my pictures junk and girls getting jealous over that or guys getting jealous over that I feel like Degrassi they have done a lot of research before making their episodes but it just comes off as weird and maybe it's just because I'm not in high school anymore and maybe this is where this would have happened but college students aren't that different from high school students so I don't know, maybe we've had problems like that with social media. It's just like, you don't think about how big social media is on your life and everything. So, it was a little odd for me watching it as a show. So, the Frankie racism plot almost turns into a Ferguson or a Baltimore thing, but it wasn't as intense. So, she's on the volleyball team and they get their clothes taken away by another team. So, they want to get them back by drawing them as animals because their school is called a zoo. And one of the girls is black and you can probably see where this is going. She was drawn as a gorilla, and they don't want to play Degrassi anymore, and other teams don't want to play Degrassi anymore because they look like a team of racist people, and they want Frankie kicked off the team. So Frankie has trouble apologizing for this, and the overall lesson is if you don't consider it to be racism, it can still be taken as racism because of the history with black people being depicted as apes, and I'm sure there are other situations where, like, you might think something is okay to do or something, you might not think about it as racism, but then other people view it differently, 
and you have to you know come to terms with that and you have to apologize for that and you have to fix that the plot was good because some people just can't really see when they're being racist but it was kind of boring as a whole like a, a central focus for the whole season that was kind of boring i think this would have been good for a few episodes and not the whole season i'll be getting into that more later in this review but basically if they had a longer season this would have been okay but for such a short season and this just being the the one central plot i didn't think it was that good the main girl that was offended by the drawings her attitude was basically why do i have to be the bigger person and well while i agree with her but apply i'm applying this to things like the internet and sometimes I get tired of being nice to people and just want to be brutally honest with them if they're being rude to me. But I also thought the girl was, she was being way too hard on Frankie because it was obvious that she didn't mean it. She didn't mean for this these uh, drawings to be racist. And I don't know, I just feel like, what am I trying to say here? I, I can see it from her side though, like... You know, you, you know so much about racism, you might expect other people to know about racism. So they do something like this, and then like they're apologizing and everything, you just don't believe them. So something like that. Also, I didn't see any teachers involved with this plot line. I really don't remember any teachers being involved with this plot line. There were teachers on the volleyball team, were like teachers helping. I'm thinking it was like a gym coach or whatever, but I don't remember anything about the racism. Like I remember Shay handling that. So that was a little bit weird because it appeared like the kids were handling it completely. And that doesn't happen because I did sports in high school and there's a problem or anything. The coaches handle it. I mean, some of the kids had jurisdiction to like tell someone to leave, but that, that's like if they were doing something really bad. But other than that, the coaches handle it. So that was a little bit weird for me. Um, Maya's plot line involves her working with a previous Degrassi character and recovering from Zig cheating on her. And Zig is trying to fix the relationship, and Maya tries to get back into it, but it just doesn't real it doesn't feel right, and that seems to be very common on this show. So she tries to be older and assumes Peter, her mentor, is into her, and it seemed like she wanted to be with him out of desperation, but that doesn't work out. And then she thinks she'll be done with high school friends, but Peter is still talking to his high school friends, and I'm still talking to my high school friends. Going to college doesn't really mean that you suddenly lose your old friends, and plus. I mean, I have some great college friends, but people in college aren't all that. You're probably people in college. You're probably not going to see them. You're probably going to see them less than the people you see in high school after college ends. So you have that because you know college students are from all around. They're all around the um, entire United States and possibly out of the country. So you're probably not going to see these people again unless you really go out of your way to see them. And I guess some of them might live close. And some people view it that way that you might lose your your high school friends when you go to college but that's a pretty ignorant attitude uh grace wants zig to play with them in their band but maya wants peter to play instead and peter wants to hang out with them and i thought things were going to get weird like immediately but thankfully they didn't things normally get weird on degrassi when an adult is involved and maya also learns the truth about grace and i brought this up before and i want to bring it up again what happened to Maya and Miles? Their relationship seemed fine at the end of season 14, and then bam, she's suddenly with Zig, complete 180, and the characters aren't in scenes anymore, and the show acts like the relationship never happened. They really need to fix that because I, I need more information, and that's not really realistic. You would see the person you broke up with. You wouldn't just like not see them at school, and... I don't know if they did this for like Netflix or something. They, they made it seem like some of the old development doesn't matter, but that's that's the way I took it. Moving on to Grace, uh, she changes her look because Baz insults her. She puts on a dress, and it looked, it looked really weird. I don't think that's her personally. I don't, I don't think the dress fit, fits her. It's like her style mixed with the dress doesn't work. Her style is very cool, but the dress throws things off. And then you have people telling her she's not trying to get guys dressed like that. And it's a pretty messed up thing to say to someone. At the party, she confesses... Uh, she confesses to Zig, and then she kisses him, and I was glad for her, but it doesn't work out, and I thought this was a weird one, because I thought they would get together, because they're, they're friends, they hang out all the time, but he doesn't really like her like that, apparently, and then she says something along the lines of, why do I have to be the one girl he won't hook up with, 
And maybe she has more issues. I don't know if we're going to get into that. She faints at the party and then she reveals her illness to Maya at the hospital. But for some reason, Zig and Tiny left. I believe they went with her. Um, and then I don't think uh, Zoe was there either. I believe they all went together, but I, I don't know. Um, I, I want more plots from Grace. I want B Grace... I said Blaze. I want Grace to get a... Uh, central plot or something i want want her to be involved with something big i know we have her illness and everything but even then it seems like she's still in the background you know she still can do like the hacking stuff but like i, I want more with her um winston he hasn't really had a leading role since he's not with miles as often and he's not with frankie anymore i wish he would still hang out with miles it's weird not seeing them together because th they were always together and for some reason, he likes Zoe now, and they end up getting together, but she doesn't like him, and they end up being friends. Nothing too crazy except Zoe. Esme's hanging out with Zig now, and this makes Maya uncomfortable. I'm not sure what they're trying to turn Esme into. I'm not sure what they want her to be. Like, it's shown that she's crazy, and she manipulates people. But she helps Zig dance, and there's nothing too major that happens to her this season. Like, I want to go back to the stuff that happened with Miles. Like, you messed him up, okay? Um, Esme's hanging out with Zig now. What's up with that? And, again, these are things that a longer season could focus on. Because every episode doesn't have to focus on, like, the Frankie plot or something like that. Because um, when they had, like, the other seasons, they did, like, two episodes, two or three episodes for a plot. And then they moved on. And then you had, like, a few things that continued... Uh, episode by episode but like major they had like major plot lines or like a major plot for like two episodes that's how it worked back when it was on teen nick at least Tristan or trent's <laughs> what tristan had some trouble with some of the people that were coming to speak at the school these were previous degrassi characters and basically he wanted to censor people so things went perfectly and this leads to some problems he's still being manipulated by Miles it seems. I don't know if Miles has turned down if he's toned down at this point, but it seems like he's still manipulating people. Lola is still using dating apps even though she's dating Tiny and she gets guys to buy her pizza. She also leads a protest for Tiny as they continue to explain it. I, I support the cause. Or as they continue to explain it, I support it the cause. But Tiny breaks up with her and she just needs more development because right now she seems really stupid. Moving on to Tiny, he gets into a fight because a guy sucker punches him over Lola. It wasn't really a fight since Tiny didn't do anything back, but Degrassi has some dumb policy so he ends up getting suspended. So if you punch me and I do nothing back, I get in trouble. That makes no sense. Plus the guy was from another school. Like, how do you even handle that? I mean, Lola should have his contact information, right? So... Maybe they could have gotten him in trouble at his other school. Again, these are things that they could have covered if they had a longer run. I mean, it's not too major, but they could have covered it. And Lola says he's getting treated differently because he's black, as Frankie never got in trouble for the racism. And Tiny kind of just laughs it off because he knows it could be racism, but he doesn't really care. And then he and Shay started flirting during the season, but it's possible that, that won't work out due to how the season ended, and I'll talk about that later. Moving on to Zig, who's i pretty much covered already he tries to fix things with maya and it doesn't work out he's hanging out with esme he tries out for a dancing role and it turns out to be for a stripper he doesn't get with grace but hopefully that is fixed later on goldie didn't really get a plot this season i mean she's on the volleyball team so she exists but eh, i don't really like her character in the first place but i i still feel like she should have had a plot also, the actress for this role is really pretty and actually looks like the type of person that they're trying to portray. Esme's actor is really pretty, too. I don't know if you guys noticed that. You should check that out. Zoe, she accidentally burns herself. And once I saw this, I knew they made it so dramatic. She has trouble kissing, kissing Winston, who likes her. And they eventually get into a relationship, but she starts self-harming because she's lying to herself. And then she tries to have sex with Winston, but she can't. And that relationship dies, and they stay friends. It was a weird relationship. It was a weird one anyway. I don't I, I don't see these two characters together. I don't know. I feel like, um, not Zoe, I feel like Winston is just like made for Frankie because they were dating for so long on the show. So that needs to happen again. Uh, Zoe, I, I don't know what's going on with you. I don't think you're going to find anyone. Let me see. Who else? I want to see Zig get with Grace. Um, we don't know that much about the new characters, so I don't really have anyone to put them with. 
Uh, I want to see Miles back with Maya. And... Yeah, I don't really care about the rest. I'm sure they'll come up with some relationships to... I don't know, fix things or whatever. Frankie, she ends up running away and Jonah goes with her. But he's completely in his right mind and keeping up with his family. That's about it. I mean, I think there was some band stuff going on. But Jonah didn't have any major plots either. Miles tells his mom about the gun that Hunter had because of Hunter crashing the car. And I, I really liked... Or what? Why was, that, why was that written like that? I really liked... Talk. Uh, I don't know why I wrote that like that. Let me read this. Uh, I don't know why it's written like that. But I liked what Miles did this season. I liked that he told his mom about this. I liked that... I really talked mostly about... Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I really talked about mostly everything that Miles did this season. He helped Hunter with this date with Yale, and he's been helping Hunter here and there, but Miles hasn't done that much this season. And that's cool to tone the character down a little bit because him and Maya have been getting like, huge focuses uh, throughout the season, so give these other characters time to develop. Yale, she had the plot with Hunter, um, and then she had an app that she made. She notices that her application is not getting very popular, so, so she makes it very trendy, but later deletes it because she doesn't want to be the creator of something like that. And I like this because it reminded me of the creator of Flappy Bird and how he took his game down because a lot of stuff happened with Flappy Bird. I think someone like murdered their own family member over Flappy Bird. I mean, I wouldn't take the app down even though that stuff happened because money is money. And just because he was making so much money daily, he was probably on his way to becoming like a millionaire or something. But I let the principle behind it, like her wanting to delete the app because of what it starts to represent. And I don't really like the red wig. It looks fake. Um, I hope they have an episode where she changes her style by taking the wig off. And maybe that'll help her out with getting more guys or something like that. I, I don't know. Degrassi does some weird plots, so we'll probably get something like that. Baz, he likes Grace. And he, meets, he mistreats her to ruin her self-esteem and then make a move. This is a real concept, but it ends up making Grace stand up to him. He goes on a date with Yale after the app contest, but it turns out he was using her. And I just don't really like his character. I've said this before, but they're going out of their way to make him unlikable. And when Grace is pissed off about the whole thing with Zig, he approaches her. And I thought they would make him get with her, but she ends up fainting. And that would have been weird anyway. I don't know why, but the new kids look really young compared to the older actors on the show. And I guess it makes sense since it takes them like seven or eight years real time to graduate high school so these newer cast members could be like really young because I think they hire by actual age possibly and then Grace and the others have been on the show for quite a long time so maybe they're a little bit older. Uh, Shay she has issues saying what she wants and I hope they work on that more. The girl from the other high school gave off the attitude of you're black you should know how it is and feel the same as me and I hate this attitude so much because I've encountered it and I encounter it often with other black people. Because basically, when I was a junior, uh, the sophomore, she saw my tweets about a protest. And I was joking about how one of the cops might flip out and punch someone. Because the, the people were just yelling at the cops and the cops were just standing there taking it. So we get into this long discussion because she, she DMs me on Twitter, I think, or it was, uh, or she could send me a tweet or something. But basically we got into a message and then she was so offensive and rude to me. She tells me about how her letter on racism is going to make her famous. And then I checked up on it. She's not famous. She's in college, but she's not famous. And I, could, I kept tweeting jokes about the, the protest. And then she ended up on following me. This was a school account, mind you. This was a, an account to update students about the school. And, I mean, she was managing it. Possibly the teacher, too. But I don't think she's allowed to do that, to just unfollow me. And yes, the account follows students, but there were no weird interactions if you're thinking anything like that. So I didn't like seeing something similar in the show because I, I know how it is. And really, Shay, Lola, and Frankie don't really work as the main focus. Um, she's like Tiny since the first season of Degrassi Next Class, and she has trouble dating him. And you don't have to ask his ex for permission. Like, they really get into, like, the relationship stuff and the, the social media stuff. Is, is this how it really works in, in real life? You have to ask, if you are best friends, you have to ask them to date their ex. That, that's stupid. And then finally, VJ, he didn't really have a plot this season. 
Uh, he made a cover of Maya's song, and it's doing better than the actual video. Um, there was the app plot. And again, the Instagram thing is okay. it's kind of okay, but these kids, now they're like YouTube stars and everything. I don't think that's really likely in high school. I mean, for some people, but like that's just going randomly viral. I don't think people in high school just have that dream of becoming a YouTube star. I haven't really seen that many people. And then most people that try, they eventually give up. So I don't know. Maybe we'll get something with that. But I'm going to be talking about the end, and I mean, I've talked about spoilers already, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to talk about it. I don't, I don't really care. So at the end of the season, there is a bucks, uh, bucks, a bus accident. I'm not going to edit this, by the way. Uh, I might, might edit it a little bit, but the bus accident was pretty shocking and out of left field. I haven't been watching Degrassi for too long. I think season 12 is the farthest that I've went back and seen every episode, and that, that's all I've seen, so I don't really like killing off characters, but I've been there when Cam died and Aunt Adam died, and I like the current cast of Degrassi, and I don't really want to lose any of them, but Maya, Zig, Grace, Tiny, and Tristan were on the bus, and one person was critically injured, and I think a lot of people got injured, but like one person was critically injured. And I mean, buses don't have seatbelts. So that's like the stupidest thing. If a bus flips, like you're you're gonna get messed up if you land on your head, and then like that pushes in or something. <laughs> it's crazy to even think about. But yeah, have you noticed that? Like, I don't I don't know if it's like that in other states, but the buses don't have seatbelts usually. So Tiny, he was sick this season, so I think he's fine. Grace is currently sick, so I think she's fine. Maya is the main focus of the show, so I don't really think she would be killed off. And that leaves Zig and Tristan. It could be either one, and I don't really know. Who do you think got critically injured? Of course, they may not die, but critically injured is normally not good news. And maybe we'll be getting another Jimmy plot or something like that. Overall, I thought this season was okay. It could have been better. I think they need bigger episode seasons so everyone gets a plot and characters aren't just thrown to the side it's like they're it's like they're there but they're not and i also think it's time for the cast to be expanded everything feels small after the other actors you know they had to leave because they graduated so we have that and the 500th the 500th episode may have been a big deal to older fans but to me it was just another episode i mean i've seen holly j and i've seen sap before that was when I first got into Degrassi, but I fell off because I thought I couldn't really handle it because it's kind of mature plot lines. Um, I think that was in high school, though, but again, mature plot lines, and I don't know. I might not have been able to handle that stuff. I've seen Spinner before, and I was looking up Jimmy so on the wiki, so I kind of saw Spinner, and I'm waiting on the Drake cameo. He seems to like giving back to his city, so why not give back to the show? Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm Sermo11. See you next time, and peace out. I think this is a lot longer than the other video.